pushing alpine scenery to quaint villages with storybook charm, you can't quite beat the sights and beauty that is Switzerland. Travellers come from all over the world for Switzerland's jaw-dropping scenery, but are charmed by the plentiful cultural attractions. No matter the kind of vacation you're looking to have, Switzerland has a little bit of everything. How do you decide where to go? The soaring snow-capped peaks of the Alps, emerald valleys, stunning glaciers, glittering blue lakes, and picturesque lakeside cottages all give the country a certain charm you can't get anywhere else. But where do you start? Welcome to Via Travelers. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the best places to go in all of Switzerland. With this list you can explore the spectacular country in all of its glory and enjoy in all of its glory. Switzerland can sometimes feel like many different countries all in one, but uniquely designed and packaged as an all-in-one experience for world travelers from all over. Make sure you watch to the end, that way you can pack your itinerary full of Swiss-made fun. This car-free medieval old town has covered bridges, waterfront promenades, frescoed historic buildings, and sun-splashed plazas with bubbling fountains, making it a spectacular, popular tourist spot. Lucerne is famed for its music concerts, luring in renowned soloists, conductors, and orchestras to the annual International Music Festival in the Culture and Convention Center. Historic landmarks like the Chapel Bridge and Lion Monuments pull people in, but history buffs will have plenty of other things to see, especially at the Swiss Transport Museum. Those looking for a spectacular view will enjoy the sights of the Alps, Lucerne, and the lake from Gietzschiburg on the north side, a cruise up Mount Pilatus on the Cableway, or a trip to the Rigi, which is a famous lookout point. Many come to embark on the Jungfrau Jock excursion with plenty of delights to discover. With its incredible journey to the summit, however, there are plenty of other things to do that should draw you into Grindelwald as a destination. There is always plenty to offer in terms of scenery all year round. This is not to undersell the beauty of the mountain trails or clear blue skies and bright green pastures that envelop the beautiful surroundings and the charmingly cute Swiss town, excellent local cuisine and so much more. For many, there is the first glider giving you a chance to glide over the mountains in an incredible 800 meter zipline experience, coursing you down at 83 kilometers per hour, securely fastened and accessible as an eagle, perfect for families with children looking for a once in a lifetime experience. You won't want to miss everything that Grindelwald has to offer and you'll want to soak in as much as you can. By far one of the most popular destinations in all of Switzerland, Lauterbrunnen is the gateway to the Jungfrau region, and is referred to as the Valley of 72 Waterfalls. Known for its high rock walls and many waterfalls, the town serves as a transit town to Mürren, Wengen, Jungfraujoch, and the Schildhorn, keeping it busy and buzzing with tourists all year round. It's also car free, offering a highly walkable experience as you traverse through the stunning waterfalls, hiking trails, and quaint villages alike. As Switzerland's largest city, central transportation hub, and at a high point for many travellers, Zurich is well loved by people worldwide. Beyond the clean, buttoned up facade of the town, this affluent banking capital boasts an incredible lineup of cultural treasures. You can begin a fantastic walking tour of the cobbled streets in the old town with quaint shops, cafes, and galleries. There's the mile long Bahnhofstrasse, which boasts one of Europe's most delicate shopping strands, beckoning with great boutique designs stores selling jewellery, fashion and watches alike. There are more than 100 galleries and 50 museums for those seeking cultural enrichment, as well as plenty of other exciting exhibits like the Zurich Zoo or a train ride through the city and countryside to the Utliberg mountain. No matter the traveller you are, Zurich holds in store for you. Perched on a peninsula of the River Aare, the Swiss capital of Bern exudes old world charm and the city's medieval old town is a renowned UNESCO World Heritage Site. Whether you're strolling along the cobbled street or exploring the tallest cathedral in the country, there is plenty to do and see. Don't miss the Zeitglogger, a medieval clock tower that features unique moving puppets, or the Rosengarten, which offers beautiful views of the old town centre. There are plenty of tourist attractions just waiting to be discovered in Bern. Art lovers will appreciate the impressive galleries and the markets where you can get a better view of the elegant Renaissance-style parliament building or the family-friendly Bear Park. Nestled between Lake Thun to the west and Lake Briennes to the east, Interlaken is one of Switzerland's most popular summer holiday resorts. 
In the middle of town, you'll find Hohemata, a marvel of urban planning with over 35 acres of open space surrounded by hotels, cafes, and flower gardens that make the area so unique and beloved. The mighty peaks of Eiger, Münch, and Jungfrau tower above the town, providing excellent opportunities for alpine adventures, including hiking, climbing, abseiling, and kayaking all around the valley. While skiing, snowboarding, and paragliding are popular attractions depending on the season, that's not all. You can also admire from below by climbing aboard a paddle steamer and cruising around the lakes. The city of Geneva sits between beautiful snow-capped peaks at the point where the Rhone spills into Lake Geneva, which is Europe's largest alpine lake, straddling the Swiss-French border. This French-speaking capital of peace is the European seat of the UN, exuding a pleasing mixture of French joie de vivre and Swiss structure. Between the promenades, parks, and gardens surrounding Lake Geneva, the Old Town is a lovely historical spot perfect for strolling around. Cultural attractions to include are the Opera House and the Grand Theatre, which both stage international acts. Zermatt, in and of itself, is an excellent destination. More so as you consider the slopes of the Matterhorn that make the destination so unique. All year round, the slopes present the magnificent beauty of its landscape and nature. Perfect in the winter for snowboarders or skiers alike, or hikers in the summer. There's a mountain trail for cyclists from Winkelmatten up to Fury, and the Zermatt Alpin Center offers guides for the climbers year round. Between the stunning views, a lovely mountain town, and plenty to do, Zermatt is worth the effort if you can make it out there and will make your trip worthwhile. Close enough to Italy to retain a certain Mediterranean flair while remaining quintessentially Swiss, Lugano is an eclectic destination with many visitors. Whether you're seeking peace and relaxation, adrenaline and thrills, delectable food or refined culture, there's something to make a visit worth it for just about anyone. Known best for blending Swiss efficiency with the sunny charm of Italy, the town is along steeply pitched shores of a picturesque alpine lake that spreads along with both countries. You can hike up a mountain and windsurf on the same day, eat at an art gallery, savour some local wines directly from their producers, and discover a rich local culture. You'll leave Lugano changed and enriched from the experience. One of the most popular things in the beautiful Bernese Oberland is the journey by train to the top of Europe, the Jungfraujoch. It has an observation terrace that takes you to what feels like the top of the world, perched at 3,454 meters up. This also marks the beginning of the longest glacier in Europe. This location is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The famous Eiger Trail goes from the Eiger Glacier Station to Alpiglen, clinging to the rocks at the foot of the North Face. If you're traveling to Switzerland, there's a lot to consider but you probably have your bags packed and plans set. In that case, you shouldn't miss out on these world-renowned sites if you get a chance. Have you ever been to Switzerland yourself? Or are you planning a visit? Let us know your thoughts or experiences or anything else in between. Do you think we've missed one? Let us know. That's gonna be all for today. If you like this video and would like to see others like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss an incredible video like this. This has been Via Travelers, and we'll see you again next time on our next big adventure.